We're here today with the Surface Pro 9 on our teardown table, and I've got to say, it's been a good long while since we've had a look at one of these. For ages, Microsoft Surface Pros were about the least repairable tablets on the market, thanks largely to the tenacious glue used under the screen. A battery or SSD replacement would sometimes mean breaking the display. The Surface Pro 7 got one of our lowest marks, 1 out of 10, when we tore it down in 2019. The Pros before that were a similar story, so despite a decent showing from the Pro X, which was more tablet than laptop, we stopped following along. But there have been some big changes on the repairability front at Microsoft, and some that we might have even had a hand in. More on that in a second. And if you're curious about either of those teardowns, you can watch them at the links below. Also be sure to like and subscribe to be the first to see our teardown and repair videos. First up is the SSD replacement, and man do I love this. Easy access to storage not only makes the process of upgrading easier, but it also provides you with the ability to use different drives to run different OS's. The next step is the dreaded screen removal. I'll throw us on the heating pad for a few minutes until the screen is hot to the touch, and then starting at the speaker grill, I'll work my way around with a pick. To my surprise, the edge of the glass does indeed lift and there's a little flex there to prevent breakage. Next I'll remove the shield and pry away the display cable hiding underneath. And with that, the single hardest part of repairing one of these devices is behind us. The screen comes away undamaged. This process was much easier and safer. Several Torx screws later and I'm most of the way to removing the heatsink assembly. Let's unplug the Surflink while I'm here so I can get at the screws underneath. I can't forget to unplug that tiny little fan cable though. With that, I can go ahead and remove the heatsink and fan assembly, which doubles as a battery protector cover, in one go. It's time to disconnect the battery ribbon cable and proceed to remove the screws on the battery. That's right, screws. It's hard to understate how big a change this is for repairability. No longer will people spend an hour and a half on a screen and battery replacement. By using screws, they've made the entire process of battery replacement both accessible to the average consumer and much safer too. A big thumbs up from us and a huge leap in repairability for the Surface line of devices. I'll go ahead and remove the Torx screws holding the motherboard in place and deshield some of these components to make sure there aren't any screws hiding underneath. I need to peel back some of this tape too and it seems that this button board will also obstruct the removal of the main board. The motherboard can finally be removed and all that's left now is the right speaker which comes out fairly easily. With a now easily removable battery, I do believe that Microsoft has hit on a pretty repairable design for their Surface line of tablets. For a company that was making some of the least repairable devices on the market just a few years ago, this is a notable improvement. We've got very little to criticize here, except to say the display removal is still a little nerve-wracking, thanks to the process of having to pry at the expensive screen. But the improved flex on the edge of the screen and the new adhesive combine to create a much more pleasant removal procedure. We're also ecstatic that the batteries are no longer glued down. Using screws in place of glue not only makes for a safer battery replacement, but also a more pleasant and approachable experience for the average person. Repairability is great, but people still need spare parts and repair guides. Thankfully, Microsoft is committed to releasing the repair guides by the end of this year and spare parts within the first half of 2023. The list of replaceable components will include the display, the battery, motherboard, heatsink assembly, and the rear case, among other parts. With this in mind, we've given the Surface Pro 9 a provisional score of 7 out of 10, and we'll revisit the score later in 2023 once those parts and manuals are made public. Quick disclaimer, we do consulting work for Microsoft's hardware team. We provide the same kind of analysis to them that we do on this channel. We tear things down and we provide feedback on repairability. We also sell Microsoft's tools to our pro business customers. However, our teardowns are conducted with full editorial independence with devices purchased by iFixit. Microsoft has had no say or involvement in the making of this video.